Lou Elizondo has just interviewed a second Vietnam veteran about a strange object he saw in an active war zone. But he needs to gather more data. We'll see Elizondo's Vietnam pilot interview after the clues seeded in the first decade of the second millennium. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Very good. Now the water signs. Pisces, Scorpio. What did your father just tell you? Gregory, really? Come here. Oh, look at this. Alien Abductions, a 12-step recovery handbook. This is a joke. Not to people in AAAA. <laughs> but, Dharma, this is not something you believe in, right? Well, it's not really a subjective thing, Greg. It's science. Dharma... <laughs> It is not science. Look, I can deal with aromatherapy and astrology, and I'm willing to take a wait-and-see position on reincarnation, but come on, I mean, UFOs, those are for people in pickup trucks on dirt roads that, you know, done seed it with their own two eyes. Oh, hello, son. I didn't know you were here. Want a drink? Oh, no, thanks. Do you want to hear the weirdest thing? I was looking at this book uh, on UFOs that Dharma has, and I realize that I have the same book from high school, but they've changed it. Same sightings, but now they're unexplained. The documentation is classified. It, they've deleted all of the rational explanations. How is Dharma? She's fine, but, but she believes in UFOs, and this kind of stuff is why. You know, we had a couple of boys in Vietnam who said they saw a UFO or two. You think maybe they did drugs? Well, after seeing something like that, who could blame them? Elizondo is meeting with a veteran who claims to have seen a UFO with tic-tac-like characteristics during the Vietnam War. My name is James Ray Boshears. I was in the U.S. Air Force from 1968 to 1973. I flew missions in South Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and North Vietnam. I flew hundreds of missions. Southeast Asia, I know exactly, it was 101 missions. June 1970. James Boshears and his crew are on their way back to Guam after a bombing run when they notice an unidentified object heading their way. I was in command of the aircraft. I was the co-pilot at that time. And the navigator came on the intercom to me and said, co-pilot, do you see a bogey at about 12 o'clock and high above us? It's, it's about 20 miles or so from us and it's coming towards us. All of a sudden, I saw a white light, and it was up high, and it just kept getting bigger as it was getting closer to us. But it, was, it never fluctuated, it didn't flash. I said, wake up the radar. He came on the intercom and said, yeah, I've got a bogey for you at 12 o'clock, and it's really high. None of us had ever heard of one of our aircraft being able to go up higher than 70,000 feet. This was already above 60,000 feet. And then the radar navigator comes back and says, holy smoke, <laughs> this bogey just made a sharp left turn. I mean, at, at 5,000 plus knots, it made like almost a 90 degree turn instantly. The bright light he says he witnessed is similar to the nighttime reports of glowing white tic-tac-like objects during the 2004 USS Nimitz event. We had a couple of boys in Vietnam who said they saw a UFO or two. Well, hello, what took you so long? <laughs>